we caught up with Bob earlier on and he showed us how to extract the honey from the frames. Basically, how the honey goes from the frames to the table. With the super removed from the hive outdoors and brought indoors, what I need to do is scrape and rupture that thin layer of wax to allow the honey to flow out of the hexagonal comb. Every cap needs to be ruptured, otherwise the honey won't come out. Because honey is somewhat viscous, we're going to need to put this in a centrifuge and spin it to help separate the honey from the wax. The centrifuge spins these frames around and that causes anything which isn't really strongly attached to the frames to separate from the frame. Next you open the gate of the centrifuge that allows the honey that's been separated to flow out into a bucket. And we securely close the lid. Then I check around the perimeter to make sure that that lid is sealed properly. Now it's watertight. I can take the bucket over to a water bath. The water in here has been heated to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. After three hours, we can come back, remove the lid, and lift the bucket out carefully. Next important step, we don't want to introduce water into the honey, so I need to carefully dry this bucket. I can open the lid, and what we're going to see is warm honey with all the wax floating to the surface. That's the next step in the process to separate the wax from the honey. I can then use the strainer to try and get that wax up and out and allow the honey to drain back through. Now that I have skimmed the wax off the surface of this bucket of honey, we're ready for the next step of the process to remove the remaining wax from this honey. To do that, we have a set of strainers and they're very fine mesh, so we carefully pour this honey into the strainer. We have enough honey in this bucket, we can fill a jar. There it is, pure golden honey.